Good afternoon and welcome to the Brackus Baum Computer Consulting's monthly webinar series. My name is Kelly and thank you for joining us today for our webinar on Go Paperless with DocLink, Automate Your Sales Order Process and Get Paid Faster. Today we've invited Alltech to show you DocLink, the Sage Endorsed Document Management and Business Process Automation Solution. With DocLink, you can automate the sales order process, be able to easily track orders, minimize data entry, and have access to your documents from anywhere at any time. We're going to learn how DocLink can help you get rid of the paper and automate your order to cash process, which will streamline efficiencies and enable you to get paid faster. This webinar is for you. So if you have any questions during the presentation, please go ahead and type that into the chat or the question section. We'll get to those at the end. And without further ado, I'd like to introduce Kurt Hickson, Alltech Sales Director, and Igor Krass, Sales Engineer, who will be showing us a demo of DocLink. Kurt, hand it off to you. Thanks everyone. Uh, this is uh, Kurt Hickson, Sales Director for Central Region. And thanks Kelly for the intro. We'll jump into it. Um, so I know everyone's probably, uh, enjoying a sandwich or whatnot during the lunch hour, um, depending on where you are at. But what we'll be discussing today is DocLink and the automation of your sales order process and some other avenues that DocLink can work in today. So let's start, shall we? So as you may or may not know, we have been going through a digital transformation and this has been uh, taking place over the last couple of years. And I think last year it's been greatly expedited obvious for obvious reasons you know a lot of folks working remote etc but at the end of the day what this digital transformation is is it's really about connecting people processes and data for that competitive advantage right having access to business critical information with a couple clicks of a button from no matter where you are whether you're in the office or out on the road right having that information is key so what docklink does is it really bridges the gap Right, so we're all about connecting people with the processes and data originate outside the ERP or even within it as well. Um, from there, we like to streamline. So once we have that data, we can now streamline. So operations get better, better access and visibility. You know where things are at any point in time um, with a solution like DocLink. And then what we'll be talking about today is the delivery component, right? So we can attach documents and make those a packet and deliver those out to customers and vendors automatically. So again, creating that kind of competitive advantage, if you will. So let's talk about what DocLink is more or less at a high level, kind of a 10,000 foot hierarchy. So DocLink is a standalone repository. It's going to be represented here by the DocLink logo um, in the center of the circle. And the idea here is, is we want to capture documents and data as it comes into the organization. So we have various ways of capturing this information off those documents, right? From scan captures to OCR to barcodes to, to email, right? But the idea here is, is we have various ways of doing this because we don't want to force our customers or prospects into one way of capturing a document. We want to, you know, be able to provide multiple ways of doing this. So once that document's been captured and it's housed in the document repository, then the business process of that document really takes place. And what we mean by that is we, we start talking about our workflow tool and the automation behind workflow and dictating where documents need to go based on that data that was captured um, whenever we stored that document in the repository. Within this process scenario, we also have what we would call our smart form toolkit. Smart forms are digital forms that can be created within DocLink. And with these forms, you're really getting rid of any paper-based form you're using uh, internally, right? So for example, maybe a sales order sheet that's on Excel or maybe a purchase requisition that's, that's Excel-based or Word-based, right? We're getting rid of that, creating a digital form within DocLink. And along the way, right, so, of this process scenario, behind the scenes, we're gonna be communicating with Sage. Um, we have a very robust integration into Sage. And so what that means is we're not trying to replace Sage by any means. What we wanna do is we wanna make Sage stronger. So we wanna build upon your initial investment. We wanna fill in some of the, the shortcomings that you were experiencing with, with Sage and document management and really help refine that tool. And then with this as well, we have the ability to retrieve, 
right? So it wouldn't be a document management solution if you didn't have access to documents, again, from wherever you are. So, you know, we have a web client capability, we have a desktop application, we have a mobile app, and then we also, again, have that integration of Sage where we can actually view documents directly from Sage itself. So folks that live in Sage a majority of the time, maybe AP, AR, they can go and stay in Sage and click a button and automatically recall documents while they're in Sage. So they're not necessarily having to jump between the two platforms. So that's the nice thing there. And then, as I mentioned, we're going to be talking about the delivery aspect. So within Sage, we understand that you can send out an AR invoice, but oftentimes customers or vendors are going to require more documentation to come along with that uh, AR invoice, right? Whether it's a delivery ticket, maybe previous quotes, they want all that information when that invoice is sent out. So we can package all that info behind the scenes and with a pre-configured routing list, we can automatically send the, that packet of documents to the customer or vendor based on their preference, right? So email, we can print it email it, whatever, right? So here's DocLink, that 10,000 foot overview and what we'll be discussing today, right? So capture, storage, process, retrieval, integration, and of course, delivery. So what we'll be focusing more or less today on our demonstration in this conversation is gonna be the sales order process, right? So we wanna talk about that cash to quote scenario. So before I do that, I'm gonna pose a question out here and and Katie is going to let us know what, what the verdict is, but really what we want to get a, a sense of what are your challenges in the sales order process today? Is it A, too much time doing data entry, B, tracking, misplaced orders, C, timely billing to clients, or D, able to locate associated documents? So I'll give everyone a, a minute there. There should be a, a poll that has popped up. And once we get, we'll give everyone a few moments here to uh, answer that, and then we'll move on momentarily. All right, I'll go ahead and move on here. Let's talk about the quote to cash scenario. So your typical quote to cash scenario is gonna look something like this, right? Starts with a quote, customer PO is generated, then a sales order, order acknowledgement, there's pick tickets, there's that AR invoice, and then the customer payment. From quote to AR invoice, we can capture all this data and house it in the document repository. And then once that payment has come in, we can also house that payment uh, remittance within DocLink as well. So if someone were to go in and look up a quote and it's already gone through the whole cycle, they, they should be able to see the quote all the way to the customer payment within DocLink, which is great. So for the, the automation behind this is, you know, we want to capture and deliver quotes and order acknowledgement, right? So we want to get rid of this manual paper process. So when it comes in, we want to capture those. What we want to, you know, be able to handle sign pick tickets and delivery uh, tickets with no filing or no real data entry. So we'll talk about how, how we can do that. Automated delivery of the AR invoices. I've explained how this works and we'll show you what it looks like momentarily. And then we have the integration and retrieval of documents, right? So the traceability, accessibility to where those documents are, again, through various touch points, whether again, it's that web client, the desktop application, mobile app, et cetera, right? So these are the main parts and components of kind of that sales order process that we'll be showing and discussing today. So again, it kind of starts with those quotes, right? So that quote gets generated, we can automatically capture that with an ERM capture if it's been generated out of a third party, especially Sage. We'll bring that in and you'll see on the right hand side, there's index property values. So that document has been indexed and now we can search this document based on that property value or we can actually tie documents together based on that. So whether it's a document number or document ID, which is probably the quote number, we can attach documents to it as it comes into the organization. So that would be for the quote for pick tickets. Oftentimes, you know, there's barcodes that we can leverage and, and grab this information using our barcode module and bring that into DocLink. So there, again, there's no filing or no data entry. We're leveraging the data that's on the document you know, in the delivery receipt as well. So if there's a signed delivery receipt that needs to go along, if there's a barcode on it, again, we'll leverage that barcode module. We'll bring that in and off we go running. 
So you can also capture these documents uh, via the mobile app as well. So if you would want to capture any document, you could easily do so. You know, if you want to capture that receipt or anything else, really, you can upload that into DocLink very easily. I'm going to show you how. Um, so you would capture a document and bring that in. So if you wanted to bring the pick ticket in or delivery ticket in that way, you can do so and add a little bit of detail with that. So customer name, job number, and that's all it would need to do and it'd be in the repository for process. And that document would be uploaded. The next is gonna be uh, for AR invoices and supplemental documents. And this is something Igor will touch on um, a little bit more in detail here momentarily. But again, as I mentioned, if we want to attach these documents together, so in this case, it's a invoice and a purchase order with the details. This is going to be automatically routed out to the customer or vendor. So you see that there is the attachments and those would have been sent out with this pre-configured body in the email with the details. You know, so again, that self-service access, multiple devices, multiple touch points of accessing this information really does help when you're talking about any type of process within the organization, not just the sales order process, but, but really any process. So always want to heavily emphasize the fact that you have access to this critical data from wherever you are, no matter what process you're really talking about. But what I want to do now is I want to hand this over to Igor, and we want to actually show this process us live so you get a better understanding of what this looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and make Igor a presenter now. As uh, Kurt mentioned, we're going to be looking at a couple of things through our processes and they will be uh, quite high level to, of course, give you a complete sense of what the product can do. And we're going to have a look at different methods of getting the documents on board and getting the documents and for the sales order process. Let's first have a look at the documents that come out or come to your company where uh, you need to onboard them from the outside source. Being specifically reception of documents via, let's say, uh, paper mail or let's say onboarding of uh, the pick tickets when they come in and you need to uh, scan them in. Any document can be onboarded in a variety of methods. Uh, if you're looking at the pick ticket, so on my screen right here, I have a pick ticket available and it has a barcode as Kirk mentioned. So this is one of the uh, very popular and important methods of onboarding in the framework of getting the documents in into the system and eliminating the uh, manual indexing component. So we have our shipment number and our pick ticket number right there in the form of a barcode. So this document just needs to be scanned in or dropped into a folder. So in our case, to simulate this process, I have a folder on the right hand side where I can simply drop my pick ticket and DocLink is going to pick it up and automatically index that document based on the available barcode value. So to do that, I'm just selecting this pick ticket, copying it and placing it into a folder. So everything else is going to be done automatically by DocLink. So pick ticket, of course, will be associated with the order, for example, based on the order number associated with the shipment number associated with the pick ticket number. And that's kind of the step number one. If we're talking about the customer's PO that you receive, by far the most effective method of getting them in is going to be um, reception of these documents via email. So let's say if an order comes in via email, we definitely recommend to have the documents being sent to a generic email address. Like in my case, that's customer PO at myaltech.com. It goes without saying that in, in the case of a live environment, that email will be definitely represented by your own generic email address from where we're going to pick up the data and uh, push it uh, into the workflow associated with the customer order processing, for example. But in general, that's the way to go. But at the same time, if you have a paper document, you can uh, kind of do the same thing with it. Uh, you can scan it into a folder associated with the order processing. So I have a customer order as well as the uh, as the uh, pick slip, and I'm going to scan it and bring it into the workflow. So this is how the outside documents that are not in your ERP can be brought in into the umbrella of the system and linked together very easily, right? They're just coming in. We have uh, pick slips, we have uh, customer orders that are coming in, and we can bring them into the associated workflows with very much ease and convenience. When customer is placing the order, of course, there has been, for example, a code that preceded this document, for example, in the system. 
This is where capturing of quotes and maybe sending out the order acknowledgements comes into play. And I'm going to demonstrate this uh, on an example of an order confirmation because the process would be very much similar between the quotes and the order confirmation themselves. So for example, I'm going to, oh, sorry, wrong screen. I will just go to the transactions, yeah, to the order entry. So for example, um, if we're looking at the order entry where you know that the order is being created and you are ready to send that order out, I'll just take the last order that we have on the system or we can select one of the existing orders, let's say order number five or 75 right there. So uh, when the order is created, technically it's ready to be sent out right and what we would like to do at the same time as Kurt mentioned we not only would like to send out that order but maybe send out a copy of the quote but the co uh, caption of the quote copy and caption of the copy of the order itself would be done from the screen basically by posting and printing this order or posting and printing the set quote. That action is effectively accomplishes two things at the same time. The first one is that we are getting the copy of the order number 75 stored in Docker automatically. And the second component there is going to be, of course, getting uh, the copy of the order acknowledgement also sent to the customer. And the order acknowledgement can come out with a variety of documents attached to it, depends on how the distribution method is set up. So for example, it can be just the order acknowledgement, or perhaps that can be an other document that is also attached and sent uh, together with that document. So for example, I'm going to hit post and print and system alarms me as you can see, would you like to print this order confirmation and send it out? And I will say, yes, I would like it. So I'm going to hit print. And what happens on this stage is effectively, we are uh, printing a copy of the order to doc, like as I mentioned. At the same time, what is taking place is that we are also sending out an order confirmation to the system. So for example, this is an order confirmation with a copy of an order that the customer placed. So the one that we scanned into uh, to the workflow. So we have a copy of the sales order that is coming out and copy of the customer order that they placed, for example. And at the same time, it can be even a more robust system. This, that's the latest one came in just a second ago. So for example, this is our pick, in, pick ticket that we also scan into the system. So this one has been automatically distributed by us that we picked and the order is ready to be shipped. Uh, and we have attached picks, uh, pick ticket and emailed out to the customer. And as you can see, we have one email for the pick ticket and another email we have for the sales order. And the sales order confirmation has two documents attached. We have a sales order and we have original customer purchase order. The question would be, can it be all combined together? And the question is absolutely yes. So the distribution parameters, the one that document uses to distribute documents out is very flexible. So your documents can be all combined together and sent out as a big email where it has everything together, being sales order confirmation, uh, customer, the original order, the pick ticket and the quote, all three kind of lumped together and send out. Or it can be similar to the example that we have with the, uh, pack, uh, with the pick ticket, uh, uh, sent out one at a time and you completely control that. So if you choose to send one confirmation at a time, you are definitely able to do so. It can be uh, signed documents, it can be delivery tickets, all of that can be taken together and sent out. Now, another important document in this section is going to be, of course, a copy of the AR invoice. And in this example also, uh, you probably guessed the document originates in uh, Sage itself. So we do have a uh, let me close the order entry scheme, go to the AR invoices. So for example, we have uh, our AR invoice right here that you're going to create. And from here, you can save it. And of course, similarly to the pick ticket, similarly to the order, uh, you do uh, have ability to print it, store it to document, and at the same time distribute. So for example, in this instance, I'm also going to hit print. And I'm going to send this to the printer destination to print a copy of the AR invoice and distribute that one. Similarly to the distribution of uh, the sales order confirmation that we have here on the screen, at the same time with the AR invoice, multiple documents can be distributed. So if you're looking at this example, I have it very in a very simple setting. So we have AR invoice attached, 
we have the uh, the body of the email automatically generated with the invoice number, of course, the total amounts, things like that sent out. But if you're going back to the original thing that I showed a moment ago, we also can have multiple documents attached to the complete package. So yeah, that's the latest one that came in right here. So it's a similar copy. Can you have an entire package, including the original uh, order, uh, customer order, packing slips, code confirmation, everything lumped together and sent out as a final billing? Absolutely, yes. And this is where added power and convenience of Docling comes into play. As Kurt mentioned, can you just email documents out of Sage? Absolutely, yes. It's very simple, very convenient. You just hit, uh, you just hit, uh, the button to uh, to email it out. But the docking takes it to a completely new level. You can take multiple documents, like in this example of the order confirmation, and send out big packages of documents that you have in the system stored and make it easier to provide customers with the information that they would like and that they need. At the same time, the next very powerful tool that is available at the customer's disposal is going to be the search and retrieval documents out of the system. And in this example, we are, what I would like to show is the searches in the web client. So first of all, um, if we have a look at the system, it's a very robust tool to run custom forms, to run workflows, and of course, to search for information. So for example, we were looking today at the uh, sales order number 75, and uh, we have a number of documents available for that order, specifically being sales order itself, quotes, uh, pick, pick slips, proofs of delivery, things like that. So this is the package that we can look at, and there can be multiple shipments associated with this order. And in this example, I can take all the documents that I am interested in to see at the same time, I'm just selecting them, and I can open them and I can see them side by side or one at a time. So for example, this is my pick slip that we submitted, this is my uh, customer order that we've got, this is my proof of delivery, we have our sales order that we sent out, and of course we have the pick slip that we have right here. So that's all together but at the same time if i would like i can go ahead and just position it as vertical tiles and see multiple documents at the same time this is a very powerful tool from perspective of searching data and even if you take it further you can provide your customer with quick searches when you can identify specific document type that they are able to search for example they can go to the quick search window log in into the system and see the orders, order details that you allow them to see. They can punch in the order number 75 as we look here and see that document. Today, again, we are just touching bases on search and retrieve, maybe a brief overview of what the system can do. Another thing that I wanted to show is a workflow. So the workflow processes, it effectively means governing of, of life cycles of documents. And in our example today, we have a customer PO that we would like to process, for example. So we got it uh, submitted to us, it came via email, maybe we scanned it in. And at the same time, maybe it's supposed to undergo review and, uh, for example, confirmation, or maybe we need to update the code based on the order they're trying to place because we discussed something, one thing, and they send us an order for, order for another thing. So in this example, users can see customer orders that come in, and let's say this is an order related to um, the order 75 right there. I selected the customer order. We can see the order that they sent to us. Uh, and outlining the details that let's say came via email. And in this example, while reviewing the order, I can, uh, from here, uh, looking at the information, I can send this order to be approved and processed by just hitting send and approve. Or maybe I need to do additional research. I can actually open this order uh, like this. I can have a look at the order details, maybe some notes that are present from other team members and this uh, team members here. Put my notes on the document saying, for example, I will put a sticky note and indicate that uh, all good, that it can be processed. All good, please process. And I can apply and put my uh, quick, uh, um, quick note right here. And at the same time, I can give my approval notes. I can give my permanent notes to this document also to indicate that it has been uh, looked at and approved by myself. So I can give my approval note and also give my note information saying, please process AS ASAP. 
And now I can send it to the approved for processing status. So Docklink has a variety of tools available for the user to manage and handle life cycles. It can be a custom PO processing, it can be quotes processing, it can be a form that will facilitate creation of a quote. So for example, instead of uh, going through the Sage screen for the code creation, users may be using a financial form being a smartphone to actually create a quote in the system or create a sales order in the system. And these are the tools that allow users to drive and run the, uh, the processes under the umbrella and under the gaze of the document management with the full control, as well as give access to these environments to much many more people. Because for example, you definitely don't want your sales team to be in the ERP to create these, right? Maybe they can create quotes and send them out, but you don't want them to be able to create and have access to the ERP system for the security reasons, maybe for the reasons of concurrency and usage of the seats in Sage. So these tools can be taken out and actually brought under the umbrella of the DMS. And with application of the automatic distribution module, with application of, uh, of data processing, such as search and retrieve, automatic capturing of data from Sage environment, et cetera, we can bring all of this information under your complete control. As well as you can see in this example, this is a web client, this is a web application. Nobody needs to install anything on their desktop computers. They can easily log in through the web, they can create a quote, they can run the workflow and process the customer orders. And as we looked at today, they can easily process and see the documents that have been stored in the system. And the customers can be given a similar access as well through quick searches so they can see the documents related to them. As Kurt uh, mentioned in the beginning of the discussion today, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are a lot of tools and we just wanted to give you a quick overview of what the system can do and what kind of tools are available out there for this specific setting. So if you have additional questions, if you have very specific use cases, let us know. We'll be more than happy to demo this custom and tailor to what you are trying to achieve and accomplish with use of your specific use cases. With that said, I will transfer this over back to Kurt. Thank you, Igor. So just to recap what Igor discussed and showed, kind of come full circle here with the sales order process is, you know, we covered processing and tracking of orders, right? Even order creation, he showed at the very end. That, so that was very beneficial. You know, the second, which is, you know, pretty powerful stuff is that quick invoice delivery with the supplemental documentation. I think that in itself just, you can really help streamline the AR process. And then, you know, along with all this, you always got to keep in mind that this is going to improve your customer experience, right? So the customer service aspect is going to be much improved when you implement DocLink to help out with the AR side of things. And to kind of just show a couple examples quickly on what we've seen with some of our existing customers that have implemented DocLink, not only for AP, but uh, AR, one of our uh, really good customers, American Fruits and Flavors, they actually do like the effervescence of, of drinks and come up with the, the different flavors of, you know, like drinks like Monster. And so there's a lot of uh, distribution going on, a lot of AR invoices going on. So they needed help routing AR invoices and the supporting documents because it was just, they were getting bogged down by that scenario. And being able to do this, they actually decreased 90% of the time they spent on delivering AR invoices manually, right? So they had to um, streamline this and the easiest way for them to do this was to implement DocLink and take advantage of the actual modules we just discussed uh, in the demo that Igor showed. So this is a big one. The next is gonna be something similar. So this is Tyler Technologies and they were actually emailing or excuse me, mailing. So this is more on the postage side of things where they, they're able to save a lot of money. But they were you know, spending a lot of time doing a manual process and then mailing out 500 plus ACH remittances per week, right? So that printing and postage all and the time that was involved in that was just a huge, bogged down in their system, you know, their processes rather. And then in return, they were also spending a lot of money on postage. 
Um, so when they implemented DocLink, they were able to put some rules in place, some notifications, they were able to, to capture uh, 1099s, you know, the supporting documents were automatically sent out with those invoices, you know, they were able to have workflows for journal entries and approvals. So all this and then obviously getting rid of, you know, having to manually mail those ACHs, they were easily saving a thousand or 11,000 annually, just on time of all the significant uh, time savings they got along the way, right? Not to men mention audits as well as a big one for them. So, you know, with implementing something like Docling, just on the AR piece and just being able to automatically deliver documents can save quite a bit of money. And this is proof of that, right? Just by getting rid of having to mail those ACH remittance, they were able to easily save 11,000 right off the bat with implementing Docling. So that's great. I know we, we really talked about and our focus today was around the sales order process and that kind of quote to cash scenario, but I always want to make sure that you realize that DocLink is truly an enterprise-wide solution. So with that being said, right, I would say probably majority of the time our customers or prospects generally start in AP when they're looking to adapt a document management solution. For obvious reasons, there's a lot of paper in AP. For us, the low-hanging fruit is our strong integration into Sage itself, but, you know, usually AP processes are, are mundane and there's a lot of unnecessary steps that DocLink can help improve and reduce a lot of that time of processing. So, you know, here's just kind of a, a traditional layout of what we've seen AP um, processes, you know, without any type of automation. And, you know, we can really cut this down quite a bit, right? So there was about 12 different steps there and you can really cut it down to three or four with implementing a tool like Doc to eliminate a lot of those manual tasks that you would typically go uh, about without any automation or any tools in place, workflow and integration in the Sage, like our solution. So again, AP and AR are probably the, the two components uh, of DocLink that really hit home and resonate with folks. But I think what you got to understand is, you know, we are an enterprise-wide solution, as I mentioned. Not to be redundant there, but, you know, so if there's any, any document, any process, any department, right, we're a good fit for, for most candidates. I know a lot, of, a lot of the folks in the line are kind of in that distributing vertical, but just keep in mind we can... We can work uh, well beyond that as well, but, you know, there's documentation in HR that we can help with, whether it's just, you know, housing that employee documentation from, you know, HR onboarding and things like that. Legal is a big one, and we have integrations with uh, DocuSign. We can uh, monitor expiration dates and retention policies and dates and version control, full text search. Uh, field service is a big one. Uh, facilities management because of the um, ability to really access information from ever wherever you are with a mobile device or a tablet or or um, you know the web client and you could easily upload information as we, we discussed today through the mobile app you know taking pictures receiving work orders etc so powerful stuff you can do with these with DocLink and the workflow automation that comes along with it. So again, doesn't necessarily have to just be for the sales order process or AP or AR. It could really be be anywhere, any department that has any paper pain. So what you got to ask yourself is a couple easy questions, right? Does your current system require a lot of touching or moving or filing of documents, right? First question, I'm sure a lot of you are probably nodding your head because you do experience this. The second is going to be the approval process, right? Is it manual? Is it inefficient? I'm sure a few of you are probably nodding your head at this one as well. Um, and the last is going to be the data entry, right? This is a big one. Do you spend a lot of time doing data entry, whether it's, you know, sales orders, whether it's uh, AP invoices or, or just other documents in general? We do have tools and modules like OCR that we didn't really touch on today that can help streamline, you know, the capture of these documents to where you can put a stack of documents on a scanner and bring those in and OCR can read that data and house that and uh, store it in the repository with anyone really having to do, do that manual data entry. So we can save organizations a ton of time, allocate that resource that would normally do that data entry to something that's more beneficial for the organization. You know, if you've nodded your head to yes to any of these questions, which I'm sure you did, otherwise you wouldn't have been here today, um, let us know and we'd be happy to chat about your processes and where we can help out. As Igor mentioned, we can uh, create a demo that's a little more catered to your process. We just have, a, have to have a conversation with you to understand what your processes are today. That way we can provide a solution that'll fit those processes. Real quick, why DocLink, world-class product, rapid implementations, and outstanding customer support. We try to do our best to always, you know, put the customer first, 
customers are what make our organization tick. So we always want to make sure that we're, we're doing right by them and doing everything we can. So we're available 24 seven, 365, pretty much at your beck and call, try to get to any, uh, any downtime or any questions resolved as soon as we can. So really pride ourselves on that aspect of our customer uh, support. So what I want to do is uh, leave you all with one, one quick question or one last poll. Why are you attending this session, right? Maybe you're just curious, you're building some knowledge, you know, maybe the, the boss made you, uh, maybe it is a current uh, initiative for your department or last, you know, maybe you could use this. You reach out to uh, your contact at Brockus and, and they can set up uh, the initial steps with us in terms of getting that demo scheduled. So we'll leave this here for a moment and let everybody uh, put their question in. I know Katie's monitoring that. And then when we're done with this, we'll wrap things up here momentarily with some Q&A. All right, I think everyone should have had enough time there. So what we'll go ahead and do is jump into any Q&A that may have came up. I don't, Katie, I don't know if anyone chatted anything or not. Yeah, we actually do have some questions. Um, so we had a question about whether or not you could attach a PDF to an invoice. Yeah, you can, as long as there is associated property values to uh, link those documents together, you most certainly can. The next question we had was, someone was asking, their company uses Sage 100. They're wondering if we offer demonstrations of DocLink for other versions of Sage. Yes, absolutely. Sage 100, most definitely. And I, I, I understand that we, we showed a little bit of Sage 300 today, but it was just more, more or less to give you the concept. The Sage 100 functionality is completely the same, whether you're using 300 or 100. But yeah, again, today, we really just wanted to show a quick concept. That's why we use the 300 demo image. but we can definitely set this up for 100 at any time. No, no issues there. Great. Let's see, we've got another question. Does the solution match purchase orders to an invoice? Yes, absolutely. So we didn't uh, talk too much about the AP uh, scenario today, but as I mentioned, I would say nine times out of 10, that's kind of where we start and we can do automated three-way matching very easily. And that's done with OCR. So we can do, uh, capture the, the PO as it gets generated and comes from Sage. And then when the goods come in and get received, we can grab that pack slip or delivery ticket or delivery slip, excuse me. And then uh, that invoice and do an automated match behind the scenes. If everything's good, it'll pass right it right through. If not, you know, if it's short shipped or anything like that, there would be a notification and, and that individual would be able to uh, clarify what that, uh, what that might be. All right, and our last question that we had was, will this run on a server or do you have a cloud version? Yes, we do have a cloud version. We actually have three different ways to deploy DocLink currently. It could uh, be on-premise, so it could reside on-prem uh, at your location. The second option could be uh, hosted by a third-party provider. So maybe you outsource IT and they, they host all of your applications. DocLink could be hosted along with those. And the last would be in it's becoming more of the first is going to be uh, the DocLink cloud functionality. So yeah, you can have DocLink hosted in our cloud as a true uh, SaaS offering. Great. Thank you. Uh, it doesn't look yeah. like we have any further questions today. So I would just like to say Brockus Bloom Computer Consulting would like to thank Kurt, um, you and Igor for your time for presenting today. Thank you to all of our attendees for taking time to join us for the monthly webinar. If you do have any further questions, as Kurt and Igor mentioned, you can reach out to Brockus and we can certainly get you set up with one of the consultants. We're more than happy to help. Thank you again to everybody and have a great afternoon. Thanks everyone, appreciate the time.